You see, if you make a mistake and you get a woman pregnant because you didn't think about the consequences of your of what you were doing because because you didn't have the self control to say to yourself that you weren't going to just go for the physical aspects of a woman you see that's a, that's a fault and it, it's it's a fault that I'm guilty of I've done it and and hopefully you know I, I'm putting out these these thoughts here in perhaps a, a more honest way than I've ever been with you and with myself um, because I would not want anyone anybody else to repeat the same mistakes that I made you know I wouldn't want anybody else to to look at themselves in the mirror you know 15 20 years later and say I fucked up I fucked up you know and so you know children are a beautiful thing you know children bring a lot of joy to the world but when your mind and your heart is not in line with the action that you're taking, you see, uh, that will lead to trouble. It will lead to trouble. Um, and other people can sense this too, you see. Everybody around you can sense this. It, it it create a it, it creates a you know this internal conflict brings to the world an ext an external conflict. You see what I'm saying? And so it's it's a trouble that can lead to more trouble, all because we weren't able to control ourselves. You see? And so it's all a matter of self control. And the temptation is out here. The temptation, you know, it's all over. You you can barely turn on the the, the 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 internet. Never mind, never mind TV. The internet, or drive down the highway, without seeing some woman that is half naked. You know, luring you into sex subliminally. And so, you, a modern man that's been circumcised, you know, to so they can so they can easily e more easily turn you into a sex slave right into a worker bee right cuz that's that's really the purpose of circumcision you see to to make your to to kind of um alter the sensations of of your reproductive organs and of the energy center the, not uh, not the center but the but the energy of its corresponding uh, area of the body, the the the, the so-called sacral chakra, right? Um, it 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 drives it all out of whack. You see, it takes it all out of whack. Um, it's easier to become addicted to this idea, right? To the quick fix, the idea of the quick fix. Right? Whether you do it yourself or you find um, someone outside of you to do it with. Um, it's so easy because we've already been mutilated. See? And so, and so we have to go up against all that. And we have to be strong and say to ourselves... That it's time for it's time for some 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 self appreciation, and it's time to make things right for yourself, and and to leave humanity. Uh, every you know remembering the best parts of you. So that that's where we stand, you know. When we're facing the question of you know. If we have the opportunity in front of us, because it's easy, because we can do it, you know, 
is it the appropriate thing to do? And that right there is the difference between a MGTOW or a monk and, and the rest of the red pillars that are out here. You see? Um, the, the guys that would say, the hell, the hell with it all, yeah, I'll bang it. And you say Sweet Padre, but, you know, you got a problem with that? And I say, I do. Personally, I do. You know? Of course, I can't control anybody else. That's, that's their business. I'm just putting out the idea. You know? Whatever, whatever people do with their bodies, that's, that's on them. You see? But we do have to keep in mind that as a collective, we're, we're all... And I'm not a collectivist by any stretch of the imagination. But as a collective, because we're all connected, interconnected with each other in one way or another. We live in a society, right? We, we live, in, we live in, in, a, in, a, in an interconnected modern civilization. Many of us live in large cities. So we all pay the consequences of an action that was taken without any meaningful thought behind it. And many times that action was taken without the desire for that action to occur. And so we're all paying the consequences of, of our mistakes, you know, to the tune of hundreds of thousands of people. And who knows how many billions of dollars. So, so this idea that sex can be had for fun, you know, nothing can be further from the truth. I mean, it can, yes, it can be had for fun, excuse me, it can be had for fun, let me correct myself, but there are consequences attached to that action. Personally, I think that if you're, you know, for, for a man, for a man to date a woman and not willing to not be willing to take her out in public it's a mistake it's a mistake that speaks volume about the man speak volumes about the man it is a mistake made because there was no self control and again i'm not perfect i'm not saying this because i saw somebody else do it I did it. I was the victim. A victim of my own actions. That's one mistake. The other mistake is... It's okay, you know, you think it's okay for you to go with her in public or whatnot, but... You're not willing to make it a long-term thing. You see what I'm saying? And I know, I know that nowadays for a lot of guys, that's, uh, that's not even a question. Because they're, they're just trying to get a girl. You see, because the, the system is so skewed. But there's still some guys out there that can benefit from this. You know, the older men. They've seen a thing or two and they know that I want, what I'm talking about is, is, is the reality. You know, that, we, that we've all done something similar. You know, and so and so the question is, you know, or or, or rather, the the second mistake is not wanting to make it a long term thing. And so you have to think about, you know, why that is, right? Why don't you want to make it a long term thing? It, because if she's crazy, then it's it's not worth dealing with her in any length of time. It's trouble. You will lose a part of yourself regardless of, of you know, how long you deal with her. Bad people are just better off, you know, you're better off just not dealing with them. And if you choose to hang around with them, then, you know, what does that make you, right? Because 
birds of feather flock together. 